this extent door sign from the Flying Tigers headquarters in Kunming is made of cedar split in half lengthwise, re-glued with three rows of English and Chinese words written in white paint. The first row of English words are Executive Officer. The second row of English words are AVG. The third row of Chinese words are Mei Zi Yuan Dui Fu Zi Hui Guan Si. AVG is the abbreviation for American Volunteer Group. Its full name is American Volunteer Group of the Republic of China Air Force. Its nickname is Flying Tigers, a unit of the Republic of China Air Force. It was in the 18th year of the Republic, 1929, when American Aviation Corporation first operated in China, providing airmail services for the cities of Shanghai, Hankou, Peking and Canton. In the 19th year of the Republic, 1930, the China National Aviation Corporation, CNAC, was reorganized. The Chinese government held 55% share and the American side under Intercontinent Corporation held 45% share. Three years later, William Pauley came to China to take up the position as President of China National Aviation Corporation. In the 26th year of the Republic, 1937, the Marco Polo Bridge incident erupted and the Sino-Japanese War began. The United States remained neutral until 8 December 1941, when she declared war on Japan. Reckoning American Neutrality In the 28th year of the Republic, 1939, the Nationalist Government of China entrusted William Pauley the task of persuading the United States Government to approve the formation of an Air Force unit that employed American pilots and flew American manufactured fighter planes to assist China in the war against Japan. Pauli reminiscenced in his later years, We promised Dr. Kong we would do everything possible to put China's problem before various men of influence in the United States. A few days later, I flew back to America and Captain Layton shortly joined me. We talked to many of our friends in the United States. After a number of patient discussions with Chinese government officials and officers, permission was secured to employ a group of men to join our company, Central Aircraft Manufacturing Company, and a formal agreement was entered into with the Chinese government. Dr. T. V. Sung, now Premier, empowered me to employ 350 men, pay their salaries, travelling expenses, assist in the purchase and shipping of the necessary aircraft, receive the planes and assemble them at Rangoon. Thus, the AVG was born. After the end of the Second World War, Pauli made use of his personal fortune and political connections to engage in anti-communist activities, especially in Cuba, and became a legendary figure in American right-wing politics. Pauli met Claire Chennault in China. In the early 1930s, Chennault was appointed colonel in charge of the United States Air Corps aerobatic team, the Flying Trapeze. When the Flying Trapeze was disbanded in April 1937, Chennault was invited to join the Republic of China Air Force, and he arrived in Shanghai at the end of June. The following year, Madame Chiang Kai-shek suggested to Chennault to build an international squadron to fight against Japan. The pilots came from different European countries. Discipline was slack. There were intelligence leaks, and the bomber group was destroyed on the ground. 
In October 1939, Chen accompanied the representatives of Chinese Air Force on a mission to America and met with Dr. T. V. Sung and Ambassador Hu Si. In December 1940, the United States and China came to a preliminary agreement. On 15 April 1941, President Roosevelt authorized reserve officers and enlisted men to resign from the United States military so that they could join the American Volunteer Group, all under employment of Central Aircraft Manufacturing Company. Beginning June, the volunteers traveled on a six-week voyage by ship in successive groups to reach Rangoon, Burma. Channel was appointed group commander. The first batch of 99 P-40 Tomahawks arrived in Rangoon in late June. They were manufactured by Curtis Wright Corporation. These planes were already sold to Britain, but after consultation, transferred to China. The training base was in Dongxu, 220 kilometers from Rangoon, and boasted a 4,000-foot asphalt runway. The mission of the American Volunteer Group was to protect the Burma Road, approximately 1,146 kilometers in length, that was completed in 1938, starting from Kunming, Yunnan province of China, to Lasu of Burma. This international passage handled the highest volume of goods in southwest China and became even more important after the fall of Shanghai and Canton. The American Volunteer Group was organized into three squadrons, the first and second squadrons based in Kunming, the third squadron based in Rangoon. On 7 December 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. On 20 December, the AVG engaged the Japanese in the air above Kunming for the first time. By 24 January 1942, the AVG shot down 73 Japanese planes, losing five of their own. On 4th January 1942, the Japanese army crossed the borders of Thailand and Burma to attack Burma, and Rangoon fell in March. The AVG retreated to Kunming on land and by air. Francis Doran, a pilot of the AVG, recalled that a former agricultural college in Kunming was turned into Hostel No. 1, quarters of the AVG. According to the inscription on the photograph in Jim Cross collection, Hostel No. 1 was used to house the 2nd and 3rd squadrons in 1942. Another pilot, Walt Dolan, kept a photograph of the doorway to the AVG headquarters at Hostel No. 1. In the photograph, four door signs were clearly legible. One. Group Operations AVG 2. Map Department AVG 3. Group Engineering AVG 4. Pursuit Operations AVG The typeface of the Chinese characters, the appearance of the signs, the material of the signs are all akin to those of the door sign displayed here. At that time, materials were in short supply. The door signs were only made of painted wood. Words were written by hand. They were fastened with nails and ringlets. On 4th July 1942, the AVG was disbanded to become the 23rd Fighter Group of the United States Army Air Forces, and Chenow was promoted to Brigadier General. From December 1941 to July 1942, the AVG shot down 297 Japanese planes, losing 22 pilots. This door sign of the executive officer, because of the Chinese characters, should be a relic from Kunming, 
and certainly was made and used in the very early stage when the AVG was in operation, sometime between July 1941 to July 1942. After July 1942, the AVG was reorganized and changed its name. The executive officer on the door sign was namely Cloud Bryant Adair. His nickname was Skip Adair. In 1938, Channel recruited him as instructor for the Chinese Air Force in Yunnan. In February 1941, he returned to America to procure volunteer personnel and in September, he arrived in Rangoon as Group Executive Officer and Acting Group Commander in absence of Chenault. In December 1942, he returned to America and worked at the Pentagon. Door signs from the headquarters of different war theaters during the Sino-Japanese War are truly rare. It was not only difficult to salvage anything when fire scorched the land far and wide. Few soldiers would have regarded them as precious cultural artifacts. The states of mind of the American soldiers in China were indeed different. To bring back and to collect some Chinese military memorabilia were helpful for remembrance, contentment and display. This door sign was attained through numerous hands from the descendant of a member of the Flying Tigers. How fortuitous for it to be extant in this world. How fortuitous for it to be now privately treasured. Heroes with majestic aspirations. White clouds spattered in blood. For the freedom of another race. For the compassion to all humanity. Caressing this relic and contemplating the bygone, there is but unending admiration and respect.